Okay, I built this little map analyzer program, um, and I'm going to do the first three levels just to practice uh, review and practice if statement, and then you can finish off the rest of the levels yourself. Um, yeah, let's just uh, open it up. There's some start code here. So I've already got the start code open up, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so you hover the mouse over the, the map here, and the map has rows, so row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3, and has columns, column 0, column 1, column 2, right? Rows are horizontal, columns are vertical, and the idea is you pick a level, so this is level 1, and when you hover over, it should indicate what type of tile it's on, so sand, water, etc. Okay, so the first level is, is done in the start code. If you go to level 2, though, it won't say anything, right? It updates the row and the column, but it's not saying any output there because I haven't finished that level yet. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. Now, you really only need to look at the solutions.js. Uh, the other code here is more CS20 level stuff to get this program working. We're just going to focus on the basics here in the solutions.js. You want to look at this, uh, this row and column variables. And that's uh, basically the position of the mouse, right, where the row and the column are. Um, and those will be updated in the other code. And then this output element is a variable that's storing a reference to the current tile, which is that uh, dash spot right here, current tile. Okay, we update the row and the column and the current tile. So we can just use this output element variable and change its inner HTML. And that's what it's doing here, right? If column is less than or equal to 4, the inner HTML of the output element becomes sand, otherwise it becomes water. Right? If column is less than or equal to 4, so here we go, you don't have to worry about negative numbers or beyond 11 and 7 and stuff, just you can assume that the row and column will be within this range. Um, yeah, so if, if the column is less than or equal to 4, it's sand, otherwise it's water. And, and that's as simple as that. Now, in each level, I make a note about whether it should be a binary if statement or a chain. Um, basically, the rule is if there's two types of land, uh, two types of tiles, it should be a binary. If there's three types of tiles, it should be a chain. If there's two types of, even though there's different sections, there's still only two types of tiles, it should be a binary. Right? You either output sand or you output hills. Whereas here, we need to output hills, sand, or water. So it's going to be a, a chain selection statement, right? So binary two, um, three or more would be chained. And there's no unary ones. Okay, so let's just do the next level two. So if we look at level two, what do we need to do? We need to do a chain. It's going to be hills, sand, or water. And when it's kind of in a row like this, I want to analyze my columns. I want to say, well, if my columns are less than or equal to two, it's hills. Okay, so let's start... Uh, Oh yeah, I just put this little output element dot inner HTML here just so that we could use it and just copy and paste it, not have to type it out. So if something is true, do this. Else if something is true, do this. Else do this. Right? One, two, three possibilities, a chained selection statement. If the column variable is less than or equal to two, then I want to take this and put it here. And I think it was hills. Well, we need that to be a string. Hills, like that. Okay. Um, else if. Okay, well, now if it's not, if it's not less or equal to 2, then what do I need to check? Well, then I want to check if I'm in the sand area. And a lot of people will say, well, I need to check if I'm greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 7. But because we're doing a chain selection statement, we've already checked if we're less than or equal to 2. And we're only going to get to this else if that's false. So we know that the column is not less than or equal to 2, so it must be 3 or higher. So we don't need to check if we're greater than 3. We just need to check if we're less than or equal to 7. Okay, so that's kind of a nice little... It wouldn't be wrong to do it the other way. It would just be less efficient. Um, and if it's less than or equal to 7, we'll copy and paste this. And this should be sand. And then the final one, we don't need to check anything. If it's not hills and it's not sand, it must be water. That's the last possible option. Okay, so level two, we've got sand, water, hills, right? Beautiful. 
Okay, so a couple of important things to take note of, right? If there's three possibilities, we need a chain selection statement. Um, and then it's easiest just to go from one end. Am I less than two? If I'm not, am I less than seven? If I'm not, am I less than 11? Now we could have done it the other way as, round, uh, other way as, as well. We could have said, am I greater than or equal to eight? Is that right? Yeah, greater, greater than or equal to eight would be water. If that's not true, then I want to check if I'm greater than, greater than or equal to three. So is column greater than or equal to three, then it's sand, else it must be hills. So you can start from the top or the bottom as long as you're being consistent. Am I greater than this? If that's not true, am I greater than this? If that's not true, it must be here. Am I less than this? If that's not true, am I less than this? Else it must be here. Okay, as long as you're consistent, doing it the same way. Um, all right, cool. Let's do level three. We should look at it first. Okay, so level three, I'm going to show you the wrong solution first because my initial thought is I could just copy and paste because it looks very similar, doesn't it? The only thing I need to change is there's no water. So if I'm greater than or equal to eight, it's hills. If I'm greater than or equal to three, it's sand, else it must be hills. And this will work. But I would mark you wrong if you did it this way. Because there's only two types of tiles, it should be a binary. And we don't need the chain, right? We're duplicating this code here, right? Which is not efficient, the hills. We're duplicating that code. So there's, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Either way would be acceptable. You could check for sand first, which would be like a between type scenario, right? Am I, are my columns between three and seven? Let's do that first. So I'm just going to delete this here. Oh, be careful. I deleted that function bracket. We've got to make sure we have that. So if, and then my else is a binary, right? I'm just going to copy, oops, I'm going to copy this into here for the hills and here for sand. So for between, I want to be between three and seven inclusive. So if column is greater than greater than or equal to three and column is less than or equal to seven then it's sand otherwise right if I'm between here it's sand otherwise it's hills right binary I'm either in the middle or I'm not and that works now we could also check the outsides right we could use an or here we could say the column is less than or equal to two or column is greater than or equal to eight. And if that's true, I'm on the outsides and I'm hills. And if that's not true, I must be in the middle and I'm in the sand. Okay, so I'm on this end or I'm on this end. Right, I'm on, oops, I'm on this end or I'm on this end. And if I'm not, I'm in the sand. Okay, so that's the first three levels for you. Levels four, five, um, and six are all very similar to the ones I just did, just using the rows instead of the columns. So those should be pretty easy for you. And then level seven gets looks easy, but you got to be careful. Level eight, it's interesting. Level ten, oh, four things. Level nine, I missed. Oh, checking kind of multiple areas. Did I do that one already? Oh, kind of like quadrants, different areas up and below. So they get a little more complex as you go. This is just a binary, right? Sand or water. But you've got to check different regions. In here, are you in the center or not? And here, kind of same thing. Are you in here? Are you in here? Or are you in the sand? Okay, so I kind of ended up uh, combining these two videos here. You know what? I'm just going to combine these into one in the document. And uh, yeah. You guys can do this practice assignment now, do the rest of the levels. And uh, yeah, just like I said, make sure your solution uses binary or chained as indicated. All right, have fun with that and we'll see.